All right, so we are going to start the capacity test right now. I've got it hooked up to a Victron shunt showing 100%, uh, 27.53 volts, no current right now. So we're going to turn the inverter on. There it is. And I've got the inverter running to charge the battery bank in my truck camper, my EG4 server rack batteries in my truck camper. So it's going to take a second for that to kick in. Got my multi plus in there set, the servo set to only take uh, 13 amps. So we should be pulling about 7, 1600 watts, which should be a 0.2C rate. There it goes, it's climbing. 270 watts, 300, 600, 900, 1200, 1500, 1745 looks like where it's gonna settle at. We're pulling 63 amps, which that should equate to about a 0.2C rate. All right, so we're gonna let that run and we'll get back to you whenever uh, we get some results here. All right, here we go with a little update on the capacity test. Right now, I am showing 15% left on the Victron shunt, and so far we are at 249 amp hours, 37 minutes left. Now, if I go to the watch cycle app, I'm getting a little different reading on it. The watch cycle app is showing me 22% left, so we will see how we go. I mean, there's a little bit of difference, but as of right now, we're going to go with the Victron shunt. All right, guys, there we have it. We have a successful capacity test, 314.1 amp hours and still running. We're gonna let it run on through. Let me go to the watch cycle app and we're at 2%. So I definitely call that a successful capacity test of the watch cycle 24 volt, 314 amp hour battery. We're gonna let it run on through and then we'll see exactly what we get. Okay, there we have it. My inverter shut off due to low voltage, but we got to 317 amp hours. So that was an absolute success. 317 amp hours of the claimed 314 amp hours. That's awesome.